I'm Kimberly Yasko Suzuki, and um, I am a second generation Japanese. At the time, the bombing of Pearl Harbor, my grandparents were living in Glendale at that time. My grandpa told me he was actually golfing at the time the news came in because that was about, um, it was morning time in, uh, early morning in Hawaii. So once he heard about the Pearl Harbor bombing, he just packed up, he quit golfing and he went straight home. It just happened so fast. Um, at that time, they just didn't know what was gonna happen. It was just a lot of confusion. A lot of, okay, what's gonna happen next? Uh, what do we need to do? Like, it was just that fear of not knowing. When the executive uh, order 9066 came out, that was in February, they just had to quickly round up and sell off anything that they could sell off, um, you know, get rid of whatever they needed to get rid of, and then just pack up. And um, in that whole mix, my grandma, said, why is this happening? Um, just a big why. My grandmother said she was sent off to the Santa Anita racetracks and literally, um, like that area was like just cheaply put up barracks and at first it was almost like tents that were put up. And then she just said cattle, like just being rounded up like cattle almost. At times of war, atrocious things happen. And um, that's what war is all about. You know, uh, Japan was n by no means an innocent bystander in all of this. They had their share of aggression in all parts of Asia where they did invade China, where they did invade Korea, um, they bombed and raided Philippines. And that's, as a Japanese person, it's a, it's a history that I'm not proud of. Um, but war does crazy things to people. And I think that's why it's so important to spread awareness of what war can do to people and what can we do to prevent atrocious wars like World War II ever happening again. Mm -hmm.